<laughs> you know, I was just thinking, why does he never record when I'm doing something like amicable? It's so not that I wouldn't record you, but it's just so infrequent that it's hard to catch. Look at your little slutty dolphin shorts. We just got back from the gym, okay? I'm trying to do the dishes. You look cute. You look cute. Look at my hair. I look like a, I look like a cockatoo. A cockatoo. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it from that angle. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Patience, patience. Oh, I'm messing it up. Just... You look good. You look I... very cute. I'm debating whether or not to just cut it. You want to know something weird? Kind of to go off a little off subject. What? We've been filming our lives for the last, what, six, seven years? Somewhere like that? Yeah. I still don't know where to look in the camera. Really? I'm always, if you guys look especially on a sit down video or any of our Patreon yeah. videos, because they're all sit down videos, uh -huh. I never know where to look at the camera. Like, you're, I know you're supposed to look over here, but like sometimes when me and Aaron are sitting down and we're talking and we're like, you know, bantering and stuff, or if he's, Aaron's just sharing a story, I'm so uncomfortable because I don't know, I want to look at him <laughs> and listen to him, but then I'm like, well, are they, do the subscribers think that's weird because they want to see our, like, we're talking to them? Yeah. But I'm not talking, Aaron's talking. So shouldn't I give him my undivided attention and look straight at him? Or do I look at them because I'm supposed to give them my undivided attention? Don't sneeze, don't do it. Pink elephants, pink Damn elephants. it, Yolanda sneeze though. You know when you want to sneeze? Yolanda sneeze? You know when you, <laughs> you, know when you want to sneeze? Oh yeah, yeah. I wanted to sneeze right oh, now to get oh. it out. Damn it. You know what also sucks about filming your lives? What? Like holding the camera like this? What? It hurts your hand. Yeah, something it that does. no one ever talks about. This is an important issue. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm finished. Um. All right. Um. Maybe we can get some ice cream today. We are totally matching again. We always do this. It's not even on purpose either. Why does it happen? First off, guys, we made it back to California. Uh, we're here in LA. We are kind of in the middle of. Um, job hunting and we are gonna see where the jobs land for both of us so actually this isn't gonna be the place where we end up staying at we're only here temporary we're paying month to month and we're gonna see from there um so it could be a couple months it could be i don't think it, it's gonna be other couple months maybe even like a month or two so don't get attached yeah the most important thing was getting here like we need to get to california be with our families and friends and get into this and it's gonna take a little while to adjust and you know like find our you know, careers and stuff again. We still wanted to show you guys because we wanted you to see where we're living right now while we're working on everything. Yeah, so let's go show you guys. So this is our window where we overlook the city. We're still trying to get, We I think we're gonna get some of those like string lights and put them up. I think that'd be really cool. And there's where Merlin has his spot right now. That's his like favorite spot right now. He always finds a spot to chill in front of the sun and sunbathe. That's my <laughs> handsome husband. Bandit's crate. He's not here right now. He's actually at his, um, his cousin's house, <laughs> you know? So, um... Hush! So, welcome back to LA. You get to hear all this kind of um, city traffic, noises, gardening, all of that. Uh, but yeah, so Bandit, we actually have to do, uh, because we don't have a backyard, we have to be very strategic with Bandit because he's, you know, he's a big dog and he's still young. So we take him to a dog park in the morning for an hour. We take him on a long walk, um, at least an hour. Um, there's this huge park next to us, not the dog park, but it's a huge park. He gets, he has to get his energy out somehow. Yeah. And we got the dining room. It's kind of a mess right now. I'm taking, I'm studying for my real estate exam here. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm studying for my real estate license. The kitchen, it's super small. But it gets the job done. But it does. It doesn't matter how big or how small it is. Should we show them this? Not really. It's just a weird thing, but I this guess. This is so weird. Like, we moved in here, and from the pictures alone, when we first saw this thing, we had no idea what the hell we were going to do with it. Because it's not a closet, and it's not, <laughs> it's not like small enough to be just a nook where you throw like brooms and stuff. But like, I mean, we have books. You guys know we have books on books on books, so. We're also trying to be very strategic where we put them. But since this is temporary, I think John is able to like, let it go a little bit and have like a Monica closet. Yeah, so this is kind of our Monica closet. We're thinking of getting those beads that hang down, like the bead. No, beads. no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. 
You guys, this closet kills me when I look at it. It makes me physically sick. Let's let's move on. Let's show them the upstairs. I think this is the best part. There's Coda Bear. We have a pair of um gay little birds that like to hang out on our windowsill. If you can see them. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and then this is where all the magic happens. This is husband and husband central basically. So like this is where we do all of our videos and all of our vlogs, and this is where we edit, and this is where, that screen is dirty. Oh, man, so hold on. Yeah, so this is where we do like all of our book orders and stuff like that, and like all the creative work and the art stuff. This is like kind of my office right now, but also a bedroom. But as you can see, we're also getting very creative right now. There's books stacked underneath the bed. <laughs> boxes of books everywhere. There's basically boxes of books everywhere, so you guys have to start buying more books and get them out of here so we can make room. Would you say we have a lot of stuff and things? So, and then in here, this is where the rest of the books are. So this is like the full inventory. Whenever we have to do orders, we just pull inventory from there and set it all up right there. And at least all my Pokemon stuff fit. That's the yeah. most important thing, right? Who cares about anything else? Uh, exactly. You want to show them the view over there? The view is actually pretty cool. There's Merlin. Hi, Merlin. Merlin. Woo. Hi. What's up? Oh my god. Do you remember like when every bandit's down there? Like it's so funny because like we'll call his name and like he'll look like that way, that way, straight, and I'll call him like five times and he won't even know where you are. Poor he guy. doesn't understand to look up, Aww. which I don't, I don't know. Cool baby. Well, that, that concludes the bedroom tour. Yeah. All right, let's go downstairs. So we got this little cute little hallway. Yeah, this is our sorcery and magic section. Yeah. Then we have the bathroom where Aaron's magic begins. Why does my magic <laughs> begin there? I guess I'm about to magic. Oh, dirty socks. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> How embarrassing. And then... Don't judge us. Okay, yeah, this, is... this room is kind of embarrassing. Yeah. But it's just, it's the guest bedroom, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. So my, my office is kind of there, but I'm not really using it right now. But yeah, so then this is our little guest bedroom. So whenever you guys come to visit, you know, so we're just here. You're more than welcome to be our guest. All right, well, that was it. I hope you guys um enjoyed that. Uh, there wasn't much to show. I feel like in the past we've had a little bit more to show, but <laughs> it's kind of cool having a loft actually. I think it's kind of fun. It is cool. Like, honestly, if we had moved here, remember when we had the studio apartment in LA? Yeah. If we moved here, this would have been such an upgrade. It would have been so cool. Yeah. But, um, we'll see what, what life, what the great big game of life brings. Yes. Right? Yes. Love you. Love you. <gasps> <laughs> Are you redoing the dishes I just washed? <laughs> I did that bad of a job. <laughs> I really wasn't. I wasn't. I was just cleaning the stove. Explain yourself. Um, so I'm having this Merlin plush made. Like, it's really cool actually because we designed it for the new Kickstarter for the new Husband and Husband book. And we haven't had a Husband and Husband book for like two years. So it's kind of cool to have, a, to have one after all this time. And like, so I'm designing this Merlin plush because I want to do something special, like something that can only be done and bought during the Kickstarter to make this one extra, extra special. And I thought it would be a really cool idea to just design a Merlin plush. And it came out really, really cool. I think it, I think it looks kind of like him. We're always looking for stuff to do that's special, like to the Kickstarters, and we thought that for the first time ever, a Merlin plush would be so freaking cool to have. And how do you keep more true to our brand without a Merlin plush? I mean, he is the star of Husband and Husband. Let's, let's not go let's... too far, okay? I think we have a role. He's, no, he's the star of Husband and this Husband. It's not even in the title. It should be. It should be Husband and Merlin. Uh, uh, did I just get the boot? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we wanted to make something super special. Um, this Merlin plush will only be available on the Kickstarter. So there's a certain reward tier. Um, if you guys want one, you should get it uh, because it's only gonna be during the Kickstarter when these are gonna go on sale. Okay, we're trying to get it on camera for you guys because it's insane. It's like, okay, we came home the other day and 
This was like right after we got the Merlin plush and the Merlin plush was in the middle of the floor. And Bandit is in his crate, but he's done it at least four or five times where yeah. the Merlin plush is like on the floor like this. And Merlin is just like hovering over him on the couch like right the after, <laughs> yeah. What's happening though, is cause there's like a little wet spot right there is he's getting it and he's moving it and like throwing it off the table. Cause it's on the table right here where we put it like on our like coffee table and stuff. So I don't know if he's jealous or if he's just like, he thinks it's weird, but <laughs> he's so jealous. He thinks it's a new young cat. Ew, what if it's like a little girl ghost that's like, oh, it's a new toy. Ew, stop. Toy. Ew, 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 that's so scary.